the court of chief judicial magistrate Impal West on Thursday remanded sub-inspector Jitendro on the accused in the alleged custodial death of one Arambam Nanau into police custody for six days. As per submission by the investigating officer one Arambam Kombiroi Debi, wife of late A. Dhananjoy of Sagalbam Kangabam Laikai, reported to Oshi of Impal PS on May 3 around 1.30 p.m. stating that on May 2 about 9.30 a.m. her son namely Arambam Nana was abducted by three to four unknown people who came in a car from the road near their house located at Sagolban Kangabam Laikai. One of the abductors identified himself as S.I. Ditendro who came in a white Honda Activa and asked the family members to come to Impal police station. After half an hour a police team in a civil dress also picked up Nanao sweep car, silver in color, which was parked on the roadside. Later, Kombire also arrived at Impal Police Station around 10.30 a.m. the same day. She was met to sign on a piece of paper stating that her son has been arrested in a case and served her a copy. While managing to settle the matter, police team brought her son Arambam Nanao at her residence around 4 p.m. and the said police team took him inside his room. No family members were allowed to enter the room on hearing cry of Nanao for saving his life. His younger brother Manju attempted to enter the room but was pushed back by holding on his neck. After that Nanao grandmother Arambam O Memcha was also pushed back when she tried to enter the room. After a while Nanao was taken out of his room in an unconscious state. Later he was evacuated to Rims Hospital by two police personnel, one in uniform and another in civil dress, along with her son Manju and Sanabam Nilakanta in the car of Nilakanta. However, Nanao passed away at Rims Hospital despite medical treatment. The counsel of the accused submitted that there are reports that the deceased, namely Arambam Nanao, had consumed poisonous substance that may be one of the factors for his death and prayed for shortening the police remand period of SI Jitendro. After hearing both sides, the court observed that there is an allegation of the accused along with three to four unknown people abducting Nanao on May 2. It is further alleged by the complainant that on meeting the accused at Impal Police Station around 1.30 p.m., the latter demanded a sum of Rs. 5 lakhs by 4 p.m. of the same day, failing which the detainee will not be released. This court is of the view that the offense of kidnapping for ransom as provided 364A IPC may be affected Further section 390 IPC, which is robbery by extortion, may also be relevant in the present case. Moreover, as there was allegation that three to four unknown people accompanied the accused while abducting the subject section 109 IPC, abatement of offense may also be attracted. Thus, the IO of the case is directed to incorporate the three section of IPC in the present FIR, the court said. On being inquired, the I was submitted that some clothes had been sized and attempt in May to size the weapons of offense incriminating article and prayed the court to grant time so that the same may be produced before the court on the next day. The I.O. of the case was directed to seize any weapon of offense and to handle the same carefully so that fingerprints on such item can be examined by forensic expert. Considering the allegation and the material placed before me, I find a prima facie case against the accused for the alleged offense and thus the accused is remanded in police custody for a period of six days till May 10, the court said in its order. It is also directed the I.O. to produce the accused person either at Jennings or Rims for medical checkup every 48 hours of whenever is needed while he is in police custody.